Occasionally, an individual's presence is felt long after they're gone. In this case, the individual's presence can still be seen. For those who knew John Pierce, you know he loved surrounding himself with interesting people and he loved a good party. Always kind, but with a little bit of son of a bitch thrown in for good measure. Unless you were a pretty lady, he loved the ladies. He was also driven, often obsessed, and would rather get things done than talk about it. But how did John Pierce come to set a creative and artistic tone for an entire neighborhood? It's simple, really. He ran out of space at his own home. That and his creative eye, talent, vision, and craftsmanship became noticed and desired by his neighbors. John Pierce moved into the FQ Story neighborhood of Phoenix, Arizona around 1970, taking up residence at 914 West Willetta. Over the years that followed, John would take control of the physical space around him and craft a world based on his vision. From gates and archways to chimney caps and scuppers, he created more than art. He created an environment filled with emotion and intrigue. One may wonder exactly where this artistic vision and feeling came from. Besides John's passion and raw talent, he was obsessed with all things Antony Gaudi, and he'd be the first one to admit this. Gaudi, famed architect and artist from Spain, was his primary inspiration. John went so far as to go to each public library in the Phoenix area, check out any book associated with Antony Gaudi, and then promptly lose it, having to pay the lost book fee. In turn, he amassed an amazing reference library focused on Gaudi. Over the years, John would travel multiple times to Spain, Barcelona in particular, in order to study the master. It was in Barcelona on one of these trips that John and his son Clifton hatched a plan in a bar and sketched on a napkin the beginnings of a company that would create ceiling treatments inspired by the great master. A new studio was built, business was underway, ceilings were installed around the valley and at John's home. However, longevity of this project was not in the cards for many reasons. John would soon point his focus back to the FQ Story neighborhood and continue to impress his vision for all to enjoy. With a style all his own, but heavily influenced by Gaudi, one can see John's creative interpretations in everything he did. Borrowing from the nature-based organic style all the way to the modernista and Art Nouveau movements present in Gaudi's work, John created a hybrid all his own. It was in a little town outside of Barcelona where John became intimate with the parabolic arch and decided to ramp up the architectural side of his vision. Again, John would take this influence and create his own method of construction to build a parabolic arch structure in front of his home studio. He often said it was his masterpiece. Hundreds of examples of John's work are on display every day throughout the FQ Story neighborhood. Chimney caps of every size and shape were commissioned and executed, leaving a unique impression and artistic tone on FQ's story that very few neighborhoods can boast. I had the pleasure to work with John in his studio for the last three years of his life. I met him during one of his famed FQ Story home tours when he opened up his studio to all. Recognizing my work as a fellow metal sculptor and without a studio of my own, John selflessly took me in to mentor, befriend, as a student, and even fellow drinking buddy. I will forever be grateful to John Pierce and am honored to have been impressed by this special human being. John continued his work up to the end and completed his last chimney cap at 1513 West Culver with his son Clifton. If you have a Pierce piece, cherish it, take care of it, protect and enjoy it. If you don't have one, then take a look around, treasure them, and share the story of John Pierce. FQ Story is an entirely unique, completely diverse, and colorful community. It sets itself apart by balancing its historical significance, sense of preservation, and creativity through welcoming change and new generations as it invites participation in a sense of community generally lost today.